Hare Krishna. God is always ready to work with us. Are we ready to work with Him? Whenever we try to work on anything challenging, we often want the help of somebody who is expert in that field. And then we feel confident. So suppose we want to participate in a difficult sports event and if we have a coach who has been a champion both in performing and in coaching in that area, then we would be delighted to have their help. Now for our, the most important challenge that we can ever confront in our life is the inner challenge. The challenge of inner transformation. If we can become internally strong, then we can become externally effective, much more effective than what we are. Now, how do we gain that inner strength? We have many inner weaknesses which sabotage us and form this project of inner transformation. The most potent, most expert person, guide, coach is God himself, Krishna. He can empower us to overcome our inner enemies and thereby empower us to overcome our outer enemies, whatever they may be. So, now interestingly, if there is a very great coach, the athletes would be lining up to hire that coach. But in our case, it is Krishna who is constantly with us, within our hearts, waiting for us to turn toward Him. In the Bhagavad Gita 1515, it is said, Sarvasya Chaham Ratisan Nivishto. Krishna is present in the hearts of all living beings. So He is ready to work with us for transforming us, for empowering us to become the best that we can be. And unfortunately, it is we who are not ready to work with him. Krishna was there with Arjuna on his chariot, ready to help him. But Arjuna was reluctant at the start of the Bhagavad Gita. Becoming disheartened, he put aside his bow. Similarly, various things can make us disheartened, make us want to put aside our bow, our determination to fight life's many battles. But just as Arjuna, on hearing the Bhagavad Gita's wisdom, became ready to fight, so too can we become determined, enlivened, persuaded to take up life's challenges if we listen to the wisdom of the Bhagavad Gita. If we understand God's love for us, if we understand its competence, its expertise, then we become inspired to start working with Him. And with God working with us and we working with God, that's a winning combination. As the Bhagavad Gita's last words prophecies, Yatra Yogeshwara Krishna Yatra Partho Dhanurdhara Tatra Shreer Vijayo Bhutir Dhruvani Tirma Tirmama So when there is Krishna the Supreme Mystic and Arjuna the Supreme Archer, there is victory. So, generically speaking, wherever there is God who is all, all willing to help and wherever the soul who is willing to take help, there, there will be victory. Thank you. Hare Krishna.